What's up my friends, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to talk about how to actually create a piano sketch that works for you. And assuming that you can play the piano to a proficient degree, uh, this video is gonna be super helpful, super helpful and super practical because I wanna tell you exactly what I look for basically when I'm writing a piano sketch and it gives me inspiration to move on to the next section. But before we really do that though, again, I wanna share with you that my Piano Skills for Composers and Songwriters course is currently open. In case you are looking for a course on actually how to actually play piano efficiently so that it improves your composing workflow and helps you play efficiently without getting stuck over basic technique, then this is the course for you. We go over things like scales, chords, arpeggios, how to apply those to certain pieces of music, how to actually take our ear training to the next level through piano playing, intervals, so on and so forth. It's a lot of good stuff in there. So I definitely want to check, I want you to check it out if you're interested in playing the piano. Um, getting your, your fundamental skills up to scratch and being able to play proficiently, this is the course for you. So currently open this week. If you want to check it out, just click the link in the box below and it'll take you straight there. But without further ado, let's kind of talk about the elements of a piano sketch. So when I'm thinking of a piano sketch, what I want are four things. I want melody, I want harmony, I want rhythm, and I want detail. Okay, now the last one detail is not as important because the first three are really the core components, melody, harmony, and rhythm. So we can talk about that a little bit more detail in just a little bit. But for example, this is an idea I wrote down after, um, you know, waking up one day having this idea in my brain, and I knew if I waited too long, I would just forget it. So I basically uh, rushed to my computer and I played this. Have a listen. And there we go. And then basically I repeated the same thing, but I just modulated a little bit. But yeah, you, you can kind of hear that there's a clear melody. There is also the chords on the bottom that I've played at the same time. I also know what key I'm in, in the key of F major. And also the time signature, the rhythm is kind of six, eight. So if I add in the metronome, it kind of sounds like this. Right. So you notice how there's really no like rubato. It's not, there's no um, places where I'm slowing down and speeding up. And this is essentially because I just want to get the basic ideas down. I want to make sure my melody is cohesive because it literally is just one single line. So I want to make sure I nail that down. I also want to make sure that I know what chords I'm playing. So I usually play both at the same time. Right? So when I'm playing, I, I'm thinking of both the melody and the harmony together. That's a lot of how I write my music, actually. And then at the same time, you'll notice that I, I kind of have a sense of what I, what I want the rhythm to be as well. Do I want it to be simple time or compound time? Like, do I want it to be in threes or twos? So in this case, I was like, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I thought that would feel nice because that's more of like a waltzy tempo, something that you can kind of sway back and forth to. And so that is also a core component as well, making sure you have that nailed down. And this is why we say it's important to be able to play proficiently because you want to get that down without having to play multiple times over and over again, which is why I'm sharing that piano course with you. But um, essentially, if you can get those core three components down, then you're pretty much set to go. Now, the fourth thing about detail, um, this is where if you want to add in like counter melodies or if you want you know, additional lines, maybe a, a more complicated bass line, you can certainly add those in as well afterwards. Um, you know, just to remind yourself, oh, maybe I want the flute to play that counter melody line or the clarinet to do that, you know, the run up and down. These are things that you can add in uh, afterwards, but it's less important because once you get these core things down, having the melody on top, having the chords on the bottom, and then having a certain uh, rhythm that you're trying to follow, you know, you're pretty much set to go. And you can always refer back to this as many times as you want to when you start orchestrating and arranging, because then you'll be looking at what instruments you want to use, but you'll always have an idea of what the melody and harmony are and you know how fast to play it, for example. 
So those are the core elements I look for in a piano sketch. And a lot of people get stuck because they maybe they can't play the keys too well. So they start to lose their ideas and they can't really translate that idea down to the keyboard, which is really frustrating. And I totally understand, which is why I created that piano course for composers and songwriters. So again, if you're interested in learning the, the fundamental techniques of piano, but not only that, applying them to pieces of music and then taking our inner ear and improving that as well. So our instinctual uh, musicality improves as well um, through ear training and, and just practicing it. Uh, this is the course for you. I've done a lot of research on what people are looking for. And I, I believe this curriculum is super actionable, super practical for you if you're looking for that sort of thing. So again, it's the first link in the box below. If you want to check that out, it's only open for this week. And so, um, yeah, I want to offer that to you in case you're interested in taking your piano skills to the next level. But basically, I hope that that piano um, sketch kind of concept makes sense to you. Uh, you know, maybe you're a guitarist or you're, you, you play other instruments and maybe you layer, you know, draft takes on top of one another just to get those ideas down. But if you're playing piano because it's polyphonic, then it's a lot easier to just get everything done in one pass. So this is definitely the recommended instrument of choice, in my opinion. And if you can get those three elements down all together, then you are pretty much keeping your inspiration levels high. And that's what we want. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Take care, my friend. Bye-bye.